Hello, I'm Priscilla Archangel, and my leadership insight for you today is 10 Leadership Lessons from a Half Marathon. Several weeks ago, I completed my first half marathon, and making the decision to do it, disciplining myself to train for it, standing outside on a chilly morning, anxiously awaiting for the start gun, and later working through the physical aches were all new experiences. But my biggest learning wasn't physical, it was mental. As I completed mile after mile, I thought about leaders who are contemplating change in their organizations and how do they motivate their teams to reach a goal that for some seems impossible, unnecessary, or uninteresting. So my 10 leadership lessons from a half marathon may be insightful for them. First lesson, it's never too late to learn something new. My initial intent was to complete my first 5K until I realized that you could walk a marathon. Who knew? So I joined a running group that provided training and support to get me ready and ensure my success. Lesson two, remember your why. Though the running group was also raising money for a worthy cause, I have to confess that my deeper why was finding out if I could really do such a thing. On marathon day, as I stood in the starting corrals, I had to keep remembering I wanted to grow from it. And I would never regret it. Lesson three, make sure you have the right gear. Since I'm not used to running in 40 to 50 degree weather conditions, I stressed out a little bit about making sure I had the right gear and the right energy snacks. I took advice from my fellow runners, laid out everything the night before. Proper preparation counts. Listen to the experts. Lesson four, you have to sprint to start the race. You don't leave the starting line walking, you have to run. So for some of us, the running only lasted five to seven minutes before we slowed to a walk but the energy got us off to a good start. Celebrate the kickoff of your project. Run across the starting line mentally, emotionally, and physically with your team. Lesson five, find your pace and keep at it. Thankfully, during the training process, I found several women who walked, you know, walking and jogging at a pace like mine. And I recognized the importance of having them to help me perform my best while being mindful not to slow their progress. This is like finding a group of colleagues with similar growth strategies for mutual encouragement and accountability. Lesson six, sometimes you just can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. The race course included going through a mile long tunnel under the Detroit River. And while there were lights in the tunnel, after a while we still couldn't see the lights at the end of the tunnel. Then I remembered that there's a sharp curve before the opening at the end. And in essence, we weren't going to see daylight far away, only when we were almost through it. We had to exercise faith and perseverance to know and believe it was coming. Number seven, encouragement along the way helps. Thanks to the many volunteers who offered water, Gatorade, pickle juice for the electrolytes and snacks, and supporters that turned out cheering and waving signs that said things like, run like your mother called you by your full name. Their encouragement and support really boosted us along the way. Number eight, remember it's a marathon, not a race. Most people recognize that the most important thing was to finish. And maybe I could have run faster, but I would have likely suffered a longer term injury. Protect the process to ensure the quality of the result. Lesson nine, recognize everyone's accomplishment. So everyone received a medal after they crossed the finish line. And it now hangs in my office as a reminder that I can do things that may seem impossible at first. I set my own personal record. And number 10, celebrate and reward the team at the end. By the time I got close to the finish line, I was walking with my partner. But as we approached it, we gently started jogging again and smiling for the cameras. We wanted that to be the memorable photo, visual proof of our accomplishment and what it took to get there. So in some respects, life mirrors a marathon as we set out to accomplish a significant goal. We ultimately realize we can accomplish more than we anticipated. And leaders can leverage these insights to encourage their teams to reach stretch goals. What's your marathon? Thanks for listening.